Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. It's Leela Gonzalez. I'm the author of The Reinvented Woman, founder of LeelaGonzalez.com, and I equip spiritually minded entrepreneurs with the tools they need to sell high value offers and make more difference in the world. What am I here today to talk about? The big why. If for those of you who don't know, the big why in business, you know, it, there's always this like um, sense of you need to have something that grounds you into why you're doing what you're doing because in the end of the day, life and business, they're not easy all the time. Sometimes they are, but sometimes they're not. So when the, the boat gets a little rocky, you need to remember why you're doing what you're doing, why you're heading in the direction you're going. I'm gonna go ahead and hop on this phone thing and see if I can share um, share this video. I don't know if I can do it now. Anyways, thanks for being here. So the reason I'm I'm actually even wanting to share this with you is because there was a Facebook post of a colleague of mine, and she said, "What is your big why in your business?" And immediately, this is what came to my mind. I thought, I'm breaking the patterns of generations of women who felt it would have been better to be born a man in this world because in their life it would have been okay I come from a, a line of um, women who have been poor felt stupid they were abused they were alcoholics drug addicts I come from a family of women who have gone to prison with small children No more. <laughs> not with this girl. And I knew that when I was a child. I knew I, I, this is not for me. This is not my life. This is not where my life is going. I knew that. So I went, you know, spent a lot of time. Uh, I never really knew why I was doing what I was doing. I spent a lot of time in academia, uh, in academic pursuits. I was very good in school, uh, high achiever, cheerleader the top cheerleader even at the end of senior year. <laughs> um, yeah, just always achieving, achieving, achieving. And um, I got to a point where I was really tired, right? So I never really back then, the first say 34 years of my life had a why. Like, why am I doing what am I doing? Why am I keep going, going, going? And now I know, and I want you to know, how many of you out there like, you're like not, you're doing stuff in life but you're not really sure why you're doing it. You're just doing it. You're just like doing life. And that's okay if that's what you want. But some of you out there want actually a feeling of direction, a feeling of grounded, like you know all the time, anytime you could say, does this align with why I'm doing what I'm doing? Why I wanna do what I'm doing? So why I'm doing what I'm doing is I'm breaking the patterns of generation of women who felt it would have been born or better to be born a man in the world. And it doesn't, it's not about men versus women whatsoever. It's about the feeling of the women inside of their self-worth. Okay? And you can see I get passionate about it. I felt my face get really serious. <laughs> I recently realized I was an intense woman. I didn't realize that until recently. Okay. So, yeah. So, self-worth. And that's really a big part of what I, what I do and what I do in my life and what I help other people do. Increase your self-worth, increase your net worth, increase your bank account, increase the amount of uh, impact you make in the world even. Um, and so how do you figure out your big why? Oftentimes it's hard to get where you want to go unless you know why you're doing what you want to do or why you're doing what you're doing. So one of the most popular, I think the number one, or no, 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 no. I think it's the number three TED Talk is Simon Sinek, and it's about uh, the, the what, how, and why. And this, it's a target. And basically, you can look at it. I can put a link below. But the idea is like everything in your life. I think I'm in, my position is everything in your life. What you eat, what you wear, who you talk to, what you watch, what you put in your body, what you put on your body, the thoughts you think, all of it, what you have on your bedding, <laughs> How much you get hugs. Um, I mean, all of this stuff, it's like, does it fit into your why? And my why is I want to break the patterns of generation of women who felt it would have been better to be born a man. They felt low self-worth. It doesn't have anything to do with men, um, you know, putting women down at all. It's about the women not feeling worthy of more. 
And I felt that for a long time. And, and why, now I know why I'm doing what I've been doing all this time. I'm trying to break the pattern of generations of women. You know, that's like this thing. And I realized I already have. And so now I just maintain that path of integrity, of service, of accountability, of compassion, of growth and expansion, connection. These are things that my family does not have. <laughs> I felt the serious thing come up again, the intensity. <laughs> I'm just cracking myself up this morning. Sorry. I love this. I just had this big aha recently with the past few days. that I was like, I think I'm kind of an intense person. And I told a couple of friends and they were like, yeah, you're intense. Um, and I, and you know, and I would say, um, I, oh yeah, that's okay. I want all of you to be you as fully as you as you want. And, and if you're intense or if you're shy, whatever, just be you. Um, and be around the people who, who are okay with it, that kind of you, that, that true you. You're kind of weird. I love you're kind of weird. Whatever you're kind of weird is, I love it. So back to your big why. How do you find out? How did I find out my big why? Like, I, you know, a, a bachelor's degree in environmental science, a, a master's degree in environmental policy. I spent years in uh, engineering construction management uh, uh, environmental policy, PhD work, uh, uh, yoga. I mean, all of this stuff, business, entrepreneurship. It's like, why the heck am I doing all this stuff? Why am I not just chilling more, right? I'm not on this mission in my life. Like, I want to show myself that I'm worth more, to be honest. That's really what it comes down to. And when I show myself I'm worth more, I can show you you're worth more. Because I see the gold in each one of you. I just do because I'm working on seeing the gold inside myself and I want each one of you to see the gold within you. And so um, that can be hard sometimes when you don't know your why. So how do you find your why? I know I keep alluding to this. You just keep asking why. So let's say you have a business. You want to start a business. You ask like, well, why? Oh, I want to make more money. Well, why do you want to make money? Oh, uh, well, I want to feel safer. Well, why do you want to feel safer? Um, oh, well, as a kid, I didn't feel safe. So safety is really important to me, right? And everything for me kept coming back to that. As a kid, I didn't feel safe. I didn't feel abundant. I didn't feel worthy. I didn't feel smart. Straight A student, didn't feel smart, right? So I am willing to step up and do this work on myself and for others to say no more. You are worthy. You are worth whatever you want to put your mind and energy into, Okay, so that's uh, so another big why. So maybe you want to help people. A lot of people come to me. Uh, a lot of my clients, when they first come to me, they want. They're like, I just want to help people. I'm like, okay, well, why do you want to help people? Well, they need help. Well, why are you the one to help them? Oh, for me, I can help you maybe, right? Because I've experienced pain. I've experienced darkness, and I'm okay with it. I know how to shift it. I know how to feel more worthy. I know how to pursue endeavors that are worthwhile. If you don't have a why, you may or may not be pursuing things in your life and business that are worthwhile, that are worthy. You're letting other people pull your attention maybe. Focus, figure out like, why am I doing this? So for me, I know that every day I'm trying to break gener patterns of generations. Like, you know, I'm still working on things. Just honest, I'm still working on things. I, I used to feel like I didn't deserve any money and that wasn't serving me real well. So I figured that part out, working on that, you know, always. And then I figured I'm not creative because none of my family was, you know, creative. They were all just workers. That's not true, I'm creating stuff all the time. You know, I felt low confidence. I didn't deserve a good man. I'm still single-ish, you know, but date, trying to date, trying to get out there. And uh, so I feel worthy now of a really good man because I'm a really good woman and you're a really good, awesome man or woman. Okay, so, so if you don't feel worthy, it comes out in different parts of your life, relationships, finances, your health. You don't think you're worthy enough of organic food or, or, or eating vegetables. You just want to eat McDonald's cheeseburgers. It's like, come on, your body is worth so much more. You just serve so much more. So your big why, so for example, if your big why is like, um, a lot of people's big why is their children or maybe their spouse 
or the mother or mother earth, you know? And so just ask yourself all the time, the actions you're doing, the business you're doing, the, the people you're around, what you're putting in your mouth, how you're, you know, moving forward. Are you, for me, the question is, am I breaking the cycle of generations of women who thought it would have been better to be born a man? Am I showing myself basically that I'm worth more? Am I being sweet to myself? Am I loving myself? Am I holding myself to a high standard of accountability personally and with others? Working on it, work in progress for sure. But that's my big why and how I got to it was kept asking why, why? If you want a new car, why? Why that car, right? If you want um, a, a, a marriage or a partnership or boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, just a person in your life that cares more about you, why? 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 Keep going, 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 going. Most of the time it'll kind of whittle down and then you'll find the like the one thing that everything keeps coming back to. That's the idea. Find the one thing that everything keeps coming back to in any part of your life. Why am I doing that? Why do I want to do that? And you may find also that there's things in your life that you no longer want to do. That would be that's the best part. Clear the stuff out that you don't that doesn't align with your why. And then and then just try to focus on on aligning uh, more and more and more daily with that thing that you're um you feel drawn to, you feel driven by, okay? Purpose driven life. When you feel more purposeful in life, you just feel more driven to take action. So I hope this was helpful. And um, if you wanna chat, like I, it's hard, it's hard to come up with this sometimes, I know, cause you're like in your mind. So talk to a friend, if you wanna chat, I'm here for you, sign up for a session, we can chat about finding your why, like why am I actually doing it? How can I get grounded in this purpose? Um, yeah, just let's chat. I'd love to chat. And then also, I, I'm going to tell you, I have a, a retreat coming up in Manitou Springs, the weekend of 11-11, movement, meditation, mastermind meeting. Uh, it's going to be amazing. You're going to have a really nice time to get nurtured and relaxed, but then also going to be able to set out your vision and figure out your big why for 2018, okay? I hope uh, I'm going to send prayers right now to everybody in Florida, everybody in Texas, everybody along the southern coast um, of the U.S. now and coming, you know, any storms. And and um, we always rise. We always rise again. So I'm with you, brothers and sisters, sending so many blessings to everybody out there who's experiencing challenges. And um, if you need anything, please reach out. Like I said, I got a safe home in Colorado. I'd, you know, I can, there's, there's only so much you can do from far away, but there are things you can do. So if you need something, please ask. Okay. Love you. Sending blessings. Namaste.